the king. We're live. Okay, Sergeant, could you begin your recording? PC started. Backup is rolling. The cloud is up. Sergeant, will you begin the opening? Thank you. Good morning, and welcome to the remote hearing on governmental operations. Will council members and staff please turn on their video at this time? Thank you. To minimize disruptions, please place all cell phones and electronics to vibrate. Chair, we are ready to begin. Thank you so much. Good morning. I'm Council Member Fernando Cabrera, Chair to the Committee on Governmental Operation. I want to recognize that we have been joined by Council Members uh, Dharma Diaz, Powers, Kalos, myself, uh, Rodriguez, Yeager, Levin. Did I miss anybody? Okay, great. Today, the committee will vote on proposed introduction 2118A, sponsored by my colleague, Council Member Powers. The bill will transfer the authority to issue press credential from the police department to the mayor's office of media and entertainment. These credentials allow journalists to cross police and fire lines and attend city sponsored events that are open to the press, subject to safety concern, the preservation of evidence and space limitation. Before we hear from Council Member Powell's statement, statement on his bill, I want to thank our committee staff, CJ Mary, Emily Forjom, Elizabeth Cronk, Sebastian Bocci, as well as my legislative and communication director, Claire McLevain, for their work. I will now turn it over to Council Member Powers to say a few words. Thank you, Chair Cabrera, and good morning, everyone. Uh, thanks for giving me the opportunity to say a few words today. Um, Council Member Powers will be voting today on my bill to move press credentials to the Mayor's Office of Media Entertainment from the NYPD. And uh, just a few words before that. Um, as we know, and as we all talk about it often, freedom of the press is one of our city's greatest protections. And for me, to me, any press credential that's issued by the city of New York, uh, one of the late and largest media markets, should be easy to access, easy to qualify, and should be free, uh, qualified for, and free of any considerations that go beyond protecting the press. This legislation came out because it became increasingly clear that members of the media must be able to repeat, report on stories without any concern that their coverage will result in losing a press pass or not being able to obtain one at all. We've also, of course, seen the rise of new media that uh, online media and others that also requires a change in how we view media and how we issue press passes. One way to ensure that press coverage is not impacted by an agency so heavily covered by the media is to remove that agency from the process altogether. My bill, H.O. 2118, will give the Mayor's Office of Media Entertainment the sole authority to issue, suspend, and revoke press credentials. My legislation ensures that we have a process for distributing press credentials that is fair, equitable, and accessible, creating a balanced system here that protects our free press. The diversity and emergence of new press outlets required a reconsideration of this entire process, including who issues press credentials, which has been, placed, been in place for decades, and now to provide easy flexibility for agencies to update their standards over time. At last month's hearing, we heard from a wide range of stakeholders about this legislation. I wanna thank all those who came to testify for their thoughtful feedback. And I wanna thank all my colleagues for their engagement. That feedback helped inform additional improvements to my legislation. In particular, the legislation now requires an oath hearing before any press credential can be seized, suspended or revoked. Something I believe the press community has been receptive to and provides them an extra guarantee that they will have the freedom of the press here. The law, members of the press will also have the right to an oath hearing to challenge the denial of a press credential if their application is not approved. And of course, as we discussed, there's no background check for an application for a press credential as part of this legislation. These improvements to legislation further strengthen protections for the members of the press. And I want to thank many uh, thanks to my colleagues for their support and all the staff, including Sarah Newman in my office, for working on this bill. Uh, with that, I urge all my colleagues to vote aye uh, on the bill today. Thanks so much. Thank you. And now uh, I will turn it over to the clerk to call the roll. Good morning, William Martin, uh, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on governmental operations, proposed introduction number 2118-A, Chair Cabrera. I will be voting no. It's been a difficult 
been mulling over this bill for a day. Um, I am concerned about the 1.3 plus million dollars uh, that we're spending in light of the fact that we're cutting union jobs uh, three to one uh, throughout the city. Second reason, I am concerned about the clear and convincing standard that we're using in this bill. Uh, instead of preponderance of the evidence. Both has used preponderance of evidence for the last 42 years, literally for every case. And I'm afraid we're gonna be open to lawsuits and costing a tremendous amount of money. Last of all, in the, in the hearing that we had, many of the association of the press uh, were very concerned about this bill. Uh, I know the sponsor of the, of the bill uh, has tremendous great intentions. Um, and I, I commend them for that. Uh, but um, at this moment, I'll be voting now. Rodriguez. I vote aye. Thank you. Levin. Aye. Kalos. Aye. Mizell. Yes. Powers. Aye. Jaeger. Mr. Chairman, may I be excused to briefly explain my vote? Yes. Thank you. Uh, for the reasons that the chair stated and many, many more, I'm going to vote no today. Uh, but I want to be clear. I, I, I love the sponsor of this bill. He's my friend. Um, uh, he's a good man. He's a good council member. And, but I am, I am struggling to find even a single good reason for this bill here. I, I said at the hearings that this is a solution in search of a problem. Uh, neither the press was advocating for it. The administration was not advocating for it. And this, this comes from an environment of, that, uh, of a creation of a problem uh, just so that we can craft the solution in this, here in the city council and look like we're doing something today. And so here we are, and this is what we're gonna do. And to be clear on what we're doing, we are burdening <clears throat> the current year's budget with, as the chair stated, $660,000. Uh, the future budgets, uh, $1.3 million. $1.3 million. I, I'm just not in a place where I have learned that this city is so flush with cash that we have $1.3 million to blow uh, just so that you know we can once again stand up all together and say how much we hate cops in this council. Uh, so I vote no today. Uh, with respect to all who sponsored this bill and who are voting in favor of it. I understand where you come from, but I can't be with you here. Thank you. Thank you. Dharma Diaz. Sorry, we can't hear you. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm juggling three, uh, one, one press conference and two hearings. <laughs> you guys are amazing. <laughs> I vote aye. Thank you. Hey, thank you. By a vote of six in the affirmative, two in the negative, and no abstentions, the item has been adopted by the committee. Thank you. Thank you so much. And with that, we conclude this vote.